What's up, Mud Turtles? I'm Close Turtle, and I'm back for more Cards and Castles. It's the 20th episode. I don't have any big plans, but it is the 20th episode of Cards and Castles. So, I think the series has been doing pretty, pretty, uh, pretty well so far. And, uh, I'm just ready to continue going with it. It's really fun, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. So, because of the legendaries that we got from the previous episode being well it's this this one over here winds of njord no and nothing else here we got i don't think we got any crusader legendaries no we did not we already had draymoth uh no pirate legendaries um i don't think we no we didn't get any from there which mean oh yeah we got kuru we got um we got Wu Ten, we got the Eye of Dominion, and then we have Flux. So you know what we'll do? We'll use our undead deck that we have not actually. Yeah, let's... yeah, I'll play with our undead deck. Maybe I'll have a new um new deck ready for next episode because it's, I mean this is episode twenty, but it's it's not a big number. It's just twenty episodes of Cards and Castles. So we're playing up against Meliodas Red. I want to keep Merciless Santa in our hand. I love that card so much. Acolyte Dragon Sword. Perfect. Perfect. So apparently there is an update, and they're soon going to be releasing a new set of cards overall, which are going to be awesome. I have no idea what the set is called, but they're soon going to be releasing a new set, and it's exciting. So this person seems to be playing the same kind of deck as us. Or they seem to be playing a Shadow Drake, which is not the same as us. So this thing is hurt range there, so we'll move up our Accolade over here. Because I do not want the Accolade to die yet. Even if he gets the two free damage, he will lose his creature's life. He'll be dead. So I think we, I think our best play is Dragon's Horror next turn. Against the Shadow Drake. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he's protecting it. And a range where our dude can't hit. And he's just gonna end off his turn like that. Alright, that's a that's a good play. I respect that. Um, and what's your threat range? Still the same threat range, so we're just gonna leave our guy chilling where he is. Next turn we really could scout. Or we could Santa. I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. Really have no clue what I wanna do. Oh, Flames of Eternity! Oh, getting a random Drake, I see. Sneaky. Sneaky indeed. All right, then. This person wants to play with direct damage. He'll play with direct damage. Oh, he's retreating. Dang, he must be scared. Well, we're going to play a blacksmith, and we're just going to move up our accolade. We're going to show him, show him who's boss, our accolade's boss. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, bigger numbers. For those of you who can't see them, they're here. It's it's time. It's time to see them. Uh ooh, that's the problem. We can't kill it. It's gonna it's gonna produce its offspring or whatever zombies zombie babies. No, can you touch anything on the field? So I don't want a merciless Santa yet. I think our best play here is to see which. And just move him up by one. And keep our guys in a safe zone. Even if it means giving this guy the zombies. Because we do have the white knight. And a plunder. And this thing's probably going to die eventually. So. That's my thought process. Yeah. Seems like we could still do something. This person's definitely playing more defensive. Than we are. Like he brought his guy over and then retreated it. And he's coming in with new guys. But. Doesn't seem to be moving them up and trying to keep them out of a threat range that he could hopefully preserve as long as possible. But we have cards. Shadow Drake. He's moving that one up. It's going to die. It's dead. It's gone now. You made mistakes. Now the question is, does he have direct damage? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I hate Flame Shield. What a troll. What a troll. What a sneaky troll. A sneaky little troll. Well, he's gonna fix the wrath. 
and then we plunder. Don't know why I'm talking in an accent now. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should sacrifice a lot here, or here, or here. Or maybe we just keep it. You know what? I think we keep our sacrificial altar. And we just go in with the Sea Witch power boost. Because that little uh, Grave Stalker up here is not safe if he moves it up one space. Because we have a scout. And that scout can kill it. It'll be dead. Or we could waste a Headless Horseman. But I think it's smarter to go with the cost efficient scout. Or we could get really lucky and uh, somehow focus kill it. Right now, we're rocking out with some powerful undead cards in our hand, not on the field. Uh, Stone Drake. That's that's an annoying card. That's something I'm gonna now have to deal with, which I don't want to deal with. Okay, that guy's dead. He is he is more dead than anything has been dead before. So dead, just de defeated. It's gone. It's dead. I said dead so many times in that sentence. Uh, Headless Horseman. Because then we move you up and we attack the pirate. We move you up and we kill the drake. Then we continue advancing our pirates on his army. Move our blacksmith maybe just away so it doesn't get damaged. Alright, I mean, it looks like our pirates are doing just fine. Oh, come on, you suck. Ah, you suck. White Knight. Oh my god, I hate those things. Little Braver, what's gonna do? What what else could you do? You could play of course you could play an acolyte. No! I hate that. Now he's got a white knight just sitting here. It's gonna wreak havoc, but it's dead. It's definitely dead now. Merciless Santa, what do we get? Dragon Taming. I swear I've I've gotten dragon taming, I think, twice now. Um so let's do this. Okay, it's dead. It's dead. White Knight's dead. Threat gone. Threat terminated. Termination complete. And I think we'll be okay. With our abundance of pirates, I think we'll live. And then we have our Santa back here with his little goggles on. Completely okay. Completely okay. Yeah, that Acolyte has to die. It seems like this guy's playing an undead deck, but doesn't seem to be playing... A lot of undead cards. Oh, and he forfeits. Boom. We still have a win streak from... I haven't, like, lost any games because I haven't played any since last episode. And... Well, we're now level 19. And we get... Oh, let's go! Rainbow Acolyte! Yes! And we completed a quest. I think... I think we now have to just put it in our deck. We, I think we just need to. So we'll just scroll all the way down. Oh, I passed Acolyte a while ago. It's up here. So, we have a lot of cool cards in this deck. I just don't think we need the zombies and the Cursed Pirates. So, I'm going to take away one of the Cursed Pirates and put in the Acolyte, just because the Acolyte's much, much better. We should have more Grendels now. I mean, I've gotten... Ugh, more packs. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, wait a second. We have a Witch Doctor. That can work really well. I think what we do is we take... I don't know. I, don't, I like really like Darkfire. Such a powerful card. But then there's like... Other nice cards in here. You know what? I'll get rid of another Cursed Pirate and put the Wish Doctor in here. Because, I mean, they're just not that useful. They're just not. Okay, we haven't gotten any Grendels for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if I mentioned this a while ago. We got another Kraken out of like a free pack or something. Because I have a... Uh, I have some. I have one of them sitting here. I also have an extra white knight. I have not vaporized yet. And it seems like our Dexy, De Dex Dexy, no idea. Seems like our deck's fine. So let's go into a match with the draw power deck, and maybe we will do good. Maybe, or maybe we'll get a very terrible starting hand, or maybe. We'll get Kraxis God of the Arena, and we'll play Kraxis God of the Arena. Who knows? Who knows? We're playing up against Franky. And they're playing a 
Warlock Viking deck. I swear to God, if they are using an aura deck or an obstacle deck, I'm going to be so upset. It all depends on what units they start to play with. That's all that's going to matter in the very beginning. Let's see if they start with any knockback units. Hmm. No. Oh my god, no! Oh, I don't care if we just drew into Ragnar. I hate this person. Infernal Furnace is my least favorite card to play against besides Oradex. The two things I hate in Cards and Castles, Oradex and the Infernal Furnace. The existence of the Infernal Furnace, just, I hate it. I hate it. Why is this a card? Why is it created? I don't know. I don't care. Perfect. We can drag it toward. I just... This card is so obnoxious. It just continuously damages your guys and can put them within kill ranges that you don't want them to be in. So we could possibly lose to this person because they're using a stupid Infernal Furnace. Army of the Damned. Tisk tisk tisk. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we can stall long enough and not die. We could get Ragnar Storm King and chain lighting everything and it die. They're Infernal Furnace. But... I don't know if that's going to be a thing. At the end of their turn, it can kill. we can kill it. Or they can play that card and probably ruin our chances of killing it. It's gonna, he's going to play it. Or she, I have no idea. This person is probably going to play it. Please don't play it. I'd really like to kill the Infernal Furnace next turn. So please end your turn so I can kill it this Stupid furnace that just does not deserve a spot in this game. Hmm, my god. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know how triggered I am right now. I don't know if you realize how triggered I am right now. I am so triggered. So triggered. I am. So triggered. Oh my god, we could have just killed that stupid furnace, but no. No. Oh no. It's still here. It needs to die. But I don't know why. It's not gonna die. Okay, that's even worse. Okay, what what is this person doing? What what are you doing? I okay. Zombie stall question mark. But we do have merciless Santa. I think we plop blacksmith. I think we call it a war. Of course, we get an undead. We get an undead card, like a card that could be used for undead, but we don't play our undead deck, which is upsetting. Um. Wow. Well, look at this. It'd be a shame if Ragnar the Storm King came in and chain lightning to all that. Yeah, it'd be a shame. Oh my god. Just you wait, Frankie. You're gonna be very upset. Oh! Wow. Yes, this guy is going to be very mad. Just wait until turn 10. Just you Wait. Yeah, this guy just said mistakes. Yes, you made a lot of mistakes in that last move. Dragon lore. That was our... Really? Okay, I guess we just dragon sword. Um, that was a really good dragon sword. Then we dragon lore. We got more cards. Um, we do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just... Just wait. All he needs to do is connect the chain, and he is gonna be dead. And I am going to be so happy, full of glee, just joy, that your cards are gonna die. I have to really have- Oh my god, I feel so evil right now. 
Um, this guy needs to end his turn. This guy needs to end his turn. Please let the guy end his turn. I want to trigger this guy. Oh, he's about to be super triggered. Reckless Knight. March all the way up here. Do a flame shield. Uh, plunder one to crap. Onslaught. Sure. Well, it's onslaught because we can draw on a card. Mirth's favor. Nah, I'm not that mean. I mean, he can't really attack anything. So we'll just end our turn. Yeah! I love this game. <laughs> Although now he's going to retaliate with something ridiculous. And he's probably... Oh, that's, that's actually pretty bad. Might be bad. But plunder. So it's dead. Suit of armor. I don't like that card. Let me tell you something. I don't like that card. Oh, I just messed up so badly. Alright, I just screwed everything up. So I have to waste my plunder now? Oh, wow, that really is upsetting. Uh, okay. Pro tip, don't place your cards too fast, because if I put it right here, then I would have been able to kill the suit of armor, and it would have been dead. I mean, actually, no, it would be alive right now. But it would have it would have gotten knocked into the uh, buildings. They would have taken chain lightning damage. That's upsetting. That's really upsetting. I think I just got a notification. Although I don't really care about it because that's so upsetting. Are you serious? Really, Yarum Giant? Really? Why? Why do you have a Yarum Giant? I think we play our Sea Witch. Ooh. Um, we attack the Yarm Giant. Now it has 8 health. So, I think we can freely just blacksmith Ship of the Damned. Um, we knock you back. You're dead. You're done. He's not coming back. Uh, and we just move up all of our pirates. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think we're doing fine now. But I kind of messed stuff up and we'd be in a way better position if I not made that mistake. Frog Prince, okay, you need to calm down with your Frog Prince and stuff, man. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate that. So we have to kill the Frog Prince or else it's going to wreak havoc. Uh, we hasten Missionary. Um, I'm really at a loss right now. We have to do that. We'll move up this pirate. We armory. We move you up to attack that. We have this guy attack this. This guy attacks this. Then we do that. We get more pirates. Move this one up here. Move this one up here. Move this up here. Move this guy here. This guy here. Okay. Okay, we might win this. Right now our castles are tied at the same health. This guy seems like he's in a lot of trouble now. Oh man. And we still haven't played Ragnar because it's not a good time to play him. I'm so sad I wasn't able to, like, I'm not able to play the cards I want to play. Because of the situations, like, this is a very situational card. You don't want to play them to play them because then they won't keep their guys in a chain. So you have, like, one opportunity to do the chain lightning. Unless your opponent's stupid and then just chains all their guys together. Which would be very stupid. Very stupid. So I'll play Room Warrior. Oh! So you want to kill my guy? You just wasted seven gold. And we just drew into two white knights. That's definitely game over now that we have Ragnar the Storm King. Um, why is your, what's, what's with your range? Okay. 
seems like you were like maybe he's maybe they're just walking quicker. I don't really know. Well, we're still on that win streak. Get the Viking conquest done. So that was a that was a pretty good match. Do I have anything? Yeah, I do have some stuff to clean up. Yeah, we lost all of our shards because we crafted those legends last time. Do not have enough? We do not have enough for a pack. That's whatever, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the 20th episode of my Cards and Castles series. I really hope you guys have been enjoying it. I know I have. And uh, I will see you guys next time. I almost exited the tab. <laughs>